Newsflash, another scandal involved the Catholic Church. Journalists and researchers from the ABC News most recently published another case of genocide committed by the Catholic Church. Those involved have labelled it a national disgrace. Tens of thousands of women forced to hand over their newborn babies to parents deemed more suitable. Today, Catholic health officials said sorry for the forced adoption policy they operated in the 50s, 60s and 70s. The apology follows a lengthy investigation by the ABC and the Senate. Jane Margetts has the story. It's meant to be a joyous occasion, but for more than 150,000 mothers, it's a trauma from which they will never recover. I remember when he was born and I heard a cry and, and then he was just gone. This woman, who only wishes to be known as Margaret, was drugged and persuaded to give up her son at a Catholic-run hospital in Newcastle in 1975. She was just 17. And they said if I loved him, that if I loved him, that I'd do what was best for him. Lily Arthur had a similar experience in Sydney. I was put on a, a sideways running position with a leg in, in a stirrup and my other leg pulled behind me and my face pushed into the mattress. Still under the influence of drugs, the women were coerced into signing adoption papers. It basically put women into a stupor for days, even after they left the hospital. I was still in the stupor for at least two or three days. Many never saw their children again. Now, in some cases 60 years later, Catholic Health Australia has decided it's time to apologise. Today we recognise those practices caused ongoing pain and suffering to mothers, to children and to families. And to those people, we say sorry. But the apology has done little to heal the wounds of the past. They had no right to take it, babies. They no right. Nothing makes up for what they took. The Catholic Church has offered to provide support for the women affected in the form of counselling and help accessing their medical records. But the women say they won't rest until the individuals responsible are prosecuted. They have no right to offer women an apology without giving them justice first. I'd like to see them face criminal charges for theft. They, they stole our babies. Several decades on, it's a wish that may never be granted. Jane Margetts, ABC News. This forced the executive director in Australia of the Catholic Church in Matters of Health, Martin Leverity, to apologize publicly as the scandal has gotten out of hand. The Australian Catholic Church can no longer hide and had to formally apologize to tens of thousands of victims of forced adoptions between 1950 and 1970. This is an issue that is currently considered a national disgrace. While providing them counseling, seeking support for their lost relatives, and the possibility of compensation. Adoptions, estimated at more than 250,000, often occurred against the will of mothers who sign under duress or under the influence of sedatives. The scandals of this corrupt organization do not cease, but they cannot hide all the crimes they have committed for centuries. But the time has come for all the lying and the cruelty committed by the Catholic Church and all its known religious organizations to be punished. Follow us with more breaking news. Blessed.